Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about Leishmaniasis or Kala Azar. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel my student support system. So what is Leishmaniasis? Leishmaniasis is a protozoal infection caused by several species of genus Leishmania. It is mainly of two types, cutaneous or mucosal Leishmaniasis and second one is visceral Leishmaniasis which is actually known as Kala Azar. What is causative agent for this Leishmaniasis? Leishmaniasis is mainly caused by some species of Leishmania which includes Leishmania tropica, Leishmania major, Leishmania ethiopica, Leishmania brasiliensis and Leishmania mexicana. The mode of transmission. Leishmaniasis spread from the animal reservoir or patient through the bite of infective female phlebotomines or we can say sand flies. So the vector which help in spreading the Kala Azar is sand flies. How it spreads? Actually the Leishmaniasis possesses two stages of development. One is Promasticot, here you can see this one, and this is a masticot. The promasticot stays develop and multiply in the gut of sand fly after it has fed on the infected mammalian host like patient or any other animal. In human or other mammals, the organisms are taken up by the macrophages when this uh, sand fly again bite a healthy person then this organism or the pathogenic organism enter into the macrophages and there it multiplies and the stage which develops in the human body is a masticot form which multiply inside the macrophages until the cell ruptures. Clinical manifestations. Cutaneous leishmaniasis starts with the macule and then a papule emerges, enlarges and typically become an ulcer. The mucosal lesion may appear in the oropharyngeal mucosa. Lesions may be single or multiple. These lesions may heal spontaneously within weeks to months or sometime last in even years or more. The visceral leishmaniasis occur due to the pathogenic effect of intracellular leishmania. Clinical manifestation of visceral leishmania include fever, hepatosplenomegaly means enlargement of spleen and liver, lymphadenopathy, anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, progressive emaciation and severe weakness, grace discoloration of the skin of hands, feet, abdomen and face. And due to this discoloration, visceral leishmaniasis is also known as Kala Azar. Diagnostic investigations. Parasitological investigations or diagnosis is based on the culture of the organism from the biopsy specimen or aspirated specimen or material. Demonstration of intracellular amasticot in the stained smears from the bone marrow, spleen, liver, limb, lymph nodes or blood. Recently, inexpensive, easy to use and reliable field tests such as freeze-dried antigen 
and dipsticks rapid test they are also available what are the treatment for this calaza the skin uh, sores or lesions of leishmania usually heal on their own even without treatment medications used for the treatment of visceral leishmania are intravenous liposomal amphotericin b and oral miltiocin how we can prevent calazar early diagnosis and prompt treatment of patients is a very good method for the prevention of spread of leishmania phlebotomines or sand flies have a relatively short flight range and are highly susceptible to the control by systemic uh, spraying of the residual insecticides possible breeding places of the sand flies such as stone walls animal houses and rubbish heaps must be sprayed by the residual insecticides use of insecticide treated bed nets are a good vector control alternative eliminate rubbish heaps and other breeding places of sand flies this may also help in preventing the spread of calaza general cleanliness of the neighborhood help in preventing the breeding of sand flies and ultimately help in controlling the spread of leishmaniasis thank you students for watching this video you can subscribe the channel for latest updates and you can like facebook page and for making your notes don't forget to visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com you can follow me on twitter instagram and join facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day